They can't ask for the president so easily to be reinstated. We're talking about a family that's held power for 56 years in the Gabon, which, uh, you know, is one of Africa's richest countries. It's only got 2 million population. It's rich in oil, rich in cocoa. It's got all sorts of natural resources. And yet the the people there live in abject poverty. So it's very hard for the international community to defend Bongo. Uh, to uh, Gabon now, where military officers have taken part in a coup. It happened after the state election body declared that President Bongo had won a third term. And in the last half an hour, we've heard from military officers that President Bongo is being held under house arrest. Well, Jane Flanagan is the Times' Africa correspondent who can bring us uh, the latest. Afternoon, Jane. Good afternoon, Matt. Um, Just give us a bit of background to this and, and then bring us up to date with what's been happening just literally the last hour or so. Um, Well, the reason given by the generals for this paragraph this morning was, um, as they call it, the institutional, political and economic chaos in um, Gabon, but also an election that was held last week that they said was not credible. This was a a ballot um, to decide on local or national leaders as well as the president, uh, but it was held in extremely tight conditions with a curfew and um, and no independent observers allowed. And then at four o'clock this morning, the election authorities uh, decided to announce Um, that uh, Ali Bongo, the president, would have his third term in office. Uh, This is his third disputed term. Uh, um, And he was given uh, 64% of the the vote. Within an an hour or so, the the generals, uh, including the head of his own presidential guard, the man responsible for keeping him um, from this kind of uh, scenario, took over the state TV, which is always the first rule of any coup and announced that the elections were cancelled, uh, the borders were closed and um, the, and the institutions were being dismantled and also that Ali Bongo, his son, who's a key advisor and other officials from the ruling party are being held um, under house arrest, presumably at his very large presidential um, mansion. So what, I know this is a sort of million dollar question, what happens now? Can it be reversed and is there sort of regional and international well, pressure? Sorry, you've cut out there. Can it be reversed? Well, um, I think it's interesting. I mean, we've just been watching and talking a lot about what's happened um, uh, there in in West Africa, in in Niger. Again, quite similar in a way, the head of the presidential guard um, launching this power grab, locking the president in the palace. Um, and and, I, and just a, tr- a traditional palace coup, really, and just see how the international community, international figures have been completely humbled by that. What can they do? They, were, You know, in Niger, they were given an ultimatum by regional leaders, you know, uh, rein- reinstate the president or face um, possible force, uh, sanctions imposed by uh, Washington and, and also other regional leaders, and they've They've held firm. So what can what yeah. can be done in Gabon? Well, it's awkward. They can't ask for the president so easily to be reinstated. We're talking about a family that's held power for 56 years in the Gabon, which, uh, you know, is one of Africa's richest countries. It's only got 2 million population. It's rich in oil, rich in cocoa. It's got all sorts of natural resources. And yet the, the people there live in abject poverty. So it's very hard yeah. for the international community to defend Bongo. Jane, really good to speak to you as ever. Jane Flanagan there, the Times Africa correspondent, bringing us bang up to date with what's happening uh, with that coup in Gabon.